everyone, JRDL96 here with a brand new reaction. As you can tell by the title, it's another Nintendo Direct, and it's for the one for September 14th, 2023. Now, the last Direct was back in June, and they revealed a lot of cool things in that Direct. They showcased a new 2D Mario, Mario Wonder, which the highlight for me was, you know, Mario turning into an elephant. Uh, they revealed a remake of Mario RPG. Legend of the Seven Stars. They showcased a little bit of the fifth wave of the Mario Kart 8 DLC. They announced a Princess Peach game, a Switch remake of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, and they also revealed Batman Arkham Trilogy, which is coming out, I think, next month, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and then also they showcased DLC for, Mar for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I think they also showcased also another WarioWare game. Yeah, there was a lot of cool things that they revealed. So here we are again with another Direct. What they're going to showcase this time, I have no idea. But a lot has happened in, in between the last Direct and this one. Especially the news of, you know, Charles Martinet no longer voicing Mario from this point forward. He's retiring as the character, but he's going to be staying around with Nintendo as a Mario ambassador probably a coaching you know the next voice actor who's voicing mario and stuff maybe i can do it let's go i could but then again i think it's pretty easy to do a mario impression really that's just me i have no idea but um what's gonna happen in this direct well it's hard to find out but uh i've heard you know rumors and you know from those insiders that work has an uncle that works for Nintendo and they live in their basements uh, they say oh an F-Zero leak or something or you know <laughs> something stupid but my predictions for this direct is um, probably showcase maybe like maybe the, some of the games that they revealed back in June maybe like the Princess Peach game or even Mario RPG maybe a little bit more Mario Wonder even though we already got a Nintendo direct dedicated just to Mario Wonder uh, highly doubt it though, but um, I believe um, another one. Jeez, they could showcase some things like DLC for probably like Splatoon or something like that. I have no idea. Um, so here are my you know my wishful thinking, <laughs> what I would like to see. Metroid Prime Four probably, but. Knowing Nintendo and everything, it probably won't happen. Because, just like the Mets, I have to go through misery. So, that, you know, and stuff like that, so. But anyways, I might as well just get right into it and see if I'm going to be disappointed or not. Probably I will, but we'll see. So let's just get right into it. So without the uh, duh, let's go, shall we? Here we go! Nintendo Direct. Oh, Splatoon. Why does it. Why is her. Why is the shot. The first shot have to be like a from below shot of her ass? <laughs> I saw that, Nintendo. Don't. Don't pretend that that didn't happen. The music's bopping. You with those? Oh gosh. Cool it. I'm not your enemy. That literally looks like the DJ hat from Animal Crossing New Horizons. It wouldn't really surprise me because I think some developers worked on New Horizons when it came to this game. So, it wouldn't surprise me. But again, I was never into the Splatoon series, so that's just me. Psst. 
That sound just gave me flashbacks to the reveal of Metroid Dread. Literally the same sound. Similar sounds. Side order. Takahashi! Yeah. Hello everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. You just saw a new trailer what the fuck for Wii 2 of the Splatoon 3 Expansion you know, Pass DLC. Is there a little glitch with, uh, the... this, this was a stream, so I wouldn't be surprised. Floor, where you'll strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We're developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and Hopefully over this again. is not a constant issue I gotta worry about throughout the Direct. Spring 2024. So Spring 2024. Okay, let's see our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Oh boy! Mario vs. Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong. Mario! Here we go! The rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system reignites on the Nintendo Switch system. Is this a remake of the first one? On the prize. This, because that was the first time. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. Yeah, this is this is literally the plot of Mario, the one on the Game Boy Advance. Hey, come back here! What's going on here? Oh, uh, mamma mia! If, if you played the original Game Boy Advance version, you would understand that. That's literally Mario speaking gibberish. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious, though, doesn't it? I like how Mario was climbing those ropes literally like Donkey Kong Jr. He's literally climbing it like Donkey Kong Jr. He's climbing up like this. Platform too high? Reach it with a handstand jump. Woohoo! Yippee! Observe and act to collect many Mario's, clear space, and face Donkey Kong head on. <laughs> the Donkey Kong theme from the original. In this updated version of the game, you can play with a friend in local co-op. <coughs> However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. Mario vs. Donkey Kong. February 16, 2024. Pre-orders begin today. So this is a Nintendo remake of the original Game Boy Advance game. Save the prince and the world. Don't even know who you are. <laughs> prince Guide of Persia. As he sets I recognize the name, but uh, and never really got into it. Tapping Didn't they make the a movie? Of prince of Persia series. Or, if I, or am I mixing that up with uh, something else? Gameplay. Dash through breathtaking environments in a mythological Persian-inspired world. But don't linger too long if you hope to survive. Harness sword and bow techniques. Why does the character? Why does he look like literally Eric Killmonger? As your journey progresses, Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities. That hair is literally Eric Killmonger. Equip amulets to further boost your abilities, among other perks. The number of amulets you can equip is limited, though. So there's always a limit. There's always a catch. Your disposal to navigate this harsh world and defeat the mythical beasts that stand in your way. Get ready to save the prince and discover the mysteries of Malkath when Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, launches on the Nintendo Switch system January 18th. You can receive the in-game so Warrior January game 18th. by pre-ordering the game from Nintendo Ubisoft. These games will help you chase your passions. Oh, Jesus. Rev up uh, racing game. Arcade racing in Horizon Chase. Horizon Two. Chase. Speed through Chase Brody, how are you doing? Each with its own dynamic <laughs> art style while overtaking your rivals on the road. Play the main campaign to unlock vehicles, courses, and more. You can also upgrade your vehicle and style it to fit your high-octane needs. Itching for more racing action? Up to four speeds. Of course, four players. Pedal to the metal in couch co-op or online, online. with Go lag of plenty. In Horizon Chase 2, launching on Nintendo Switch later today. 
today, New Horizons. Warm up for musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Super crazy rhythm castle. With the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks await, including music from iconic Konami games. <laughs> It literally looked like Guitar Hero, that, you know, top-down look with the, you get pressing certain buttons. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, an anime. <laughs> it's a anime-looking game, I guess. I don't know. days, you'll head to class, then enjoy family time in the evenings. On days off, you can visit all sorts of exciting places, like the beach or an art museum, in search of subjects to photograph. How will you spend your time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Mario's Up, here we RPG go. Adventure returns. The remake of RPG. The Super Mario RPG game is back with updated graphics. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. Oh, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are excited for this. I'm pretty sure some people have been clamoring for this for a to while too. Damage dealt or decrease damage received. So I guess press the button at a specific time. You can, you know, reduce the damage you take and increase the damage you, you know, give. Fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three characters. Oh, trip. God. Depending on your current party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. Oh, Jesus. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. But these powered up bosses aren't going to be easy. Of course not. Oh, God. Damage 9,999. God, you gotta make it that difficult for us. Set off for adventure Gino. With Mario and when Super Mario November. RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 17th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Hey. Oh. <sighs> Look alive. <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> I don't know why that that intro reminded me a lot of the uh, Keanu Reeves cyberpunk reveal. Wake the fuck up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. One day, a young girl named Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers, she sets off for the solitary Blood Edward Island in search of him. Once there... Ashley encounters puzzles I'm and I'm assuming this game was probably a game that was released maybe on the DS. I kind of heard DS, so I don't remember this at all. It probably came out outside of the United States and I would have not known. Can you It's a ghost. See me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? No matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R. Journey another, to there was another game? Another one. North America <laughs> is also included. So this is like Juliet, huh? Play both games to so they're including the two, story, both of the games in one package. Both adventures fully enhanced for Nintendo Switch when another code recollection. Recollection. January 19th. January 19th. Begin today on Nintendo eShop. Interesting. Another code recollection includes two games: the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in North America. Oh wow! So the game, the, game, the first game, came out here in the United States, but the second one never did. Interesting. Next, please take a look at this. Oh, Peach! Is this the Peach game? One day. A loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Sparkle Theater. Princess Peach and some toads went to go see it, but then... Oh no, there's always chaos. Something goes amok. 
and the Sour Bunch suddenly made their grand entrance and took center stage. Now it's up to what happened to her crown? Did the villain just the take her crown? Like the I'm the princess now, bitch. This <laughs> perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. Luckily, Peach can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the Sour Bunch. No, oh, jeez, that's gonna be the her move set in Smash the next Smash game. The ribbon alone won't always cut it, though. So let's do this. Whoa! Peach transforms. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Sword Fighter Peach. She literally looks like someone in the Three Musketeers with that outfit. Can Peach save this performance and its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Oh my god. Of course there Valuable is. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. Become <laughs> Detective Peach. Investigate. There's now different costumes. I think Mark would like to talk to you about that. Detective Peach. There's probably Desserts different costumes, probably. From this sweets festival. Turn into Patissier Peach. Patissier? Okay. <laughs> Baker Peach? The Sour Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become oh Kung god. Fu Peach and take it back. Kung Fu Peach. Peach. <laughs> Just the names of these, you know, costumes. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. The stage Hilarious. is set. Our leading lady is ready for the spotlight. Princess Peach, showtime. That's Make the name of the game. March 22nd. March 22nd. Princess Peach, showtime. Begin today it's showtime. Nintendo Wii Shop. That was a new look at Princess Peach, showtime. Is Mario not in this at all? Well, the last game they gave her, she had to rescue Mario. the ones we showed today, so please stay tuned. Let's continue with some more headlines. A new saga begins. Saga? What saga? Never heard of this. RPG full of rich stories awaits in saga no, of course, beyond. it's a Square Enix game. Because they don't make anything but they make anything they only make RPGs. That's all they make mostly. Final Fantasy comes to mind, so a crime fighting duo chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Select a hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The I've never really been into RPGs that path. much. More than ever like the only one I can call, I recall playing a little bit of, a lot of, was the Mario and Luigi Partners in Time, and I think also Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. That's the only ones I remember vividly playing. But I just never really got into those, really. Like I did like, I did like those games, but just like, it never really made me go, oh, I want to play the, you know, the future ones. The legendary raider oh oh my the first three two the originals games, all with upgraded visuals are oh wow Nintendo Switch looks pretty good daring collection the original tomb raider the before they rebooted it Lara Croft, you travel the world and face off against deadly foes and even deadlier legends the original Climb, tomb raider backflip, not the re you know the reboots that they did where they had to countries and change her you know character Along a little bit way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time this faithfully remastered trilogy comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each game oh wow you can also toggle between the original polygon look oh wow you can visuals oh that's cool time. that i like that so i do like that valentine's day 2024 Rock, how fitting <laughs> That's funny. How fitting. That game Nintendo comes out Shop. on Valentine's Day next year. 
Oh, here we go. Detective Pikachu returns. Top of the morning coffee. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. I kept hearing they were going to make another one of these for a while, and then they finally decided to do so. And I'm surprised they haven't capitalized it on it sooner, especially after the movie came out, you know? When you had literally Ryan Reynolds voicing him. interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. Aren't they making another Detective Pikachu movie, too? I kept hearing that, but I'm not even sure if they are. Smash rocks with but then again, I wouldn't be surprised if there's and nothing happening right now because of the strike. With Luxray. Can Tim and Pikachu solve all the mysteries? Mewtwo. And find, Harry? find out when Detective October sixth, twenty twenty-three. Launches on Nintendo Switch, October sixth. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Of course they are. This game's a real <laughs> Oh my god, this game? Oh my god, the trombone game. I remember Raise seeing Mark play. Game, trombone champ. Oh my god. Play the notes in time with the music as fast you can. <laughs> you play that is this game is hysterical, dude. Oh wow, you can use the Joy-Cons and move it up and down. And down. Or the IR motion camera oh wow, really? The controls are pretty unique. <laughs> <Mastering every laughs> that's control saying not much about, that's like scratching the surface about the controls. 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. All multiplayer, of course. Can troop together. Troop together. Oh, it's coming out today. Oh my god. Holy Wow Studios. What a name of a developer. Battle your way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. Oh. Oh my god. What a, what a, what a way to you know, reveal your land. Battle crush. It's an MMO. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies. Oh god. Last team standing. It's like some battle weird battle royale s kind of shit. For on Nintendo Switch next spring. A next spring. And there'll be beta tests. Of course. Lead your mercenaries to fame and fortune in this open world War tales. RPG. RPGs. RPGs are plenty. You get an RPG. You get an RPG. Everyone gets an RPG. At this point, like, that's, there's nothing wrong with RPGs. I'm not saying that RPGs are a bad thing, but I'm just saying, but I'm just never been really into RPGs. So I kind of go, I don't really, not really invested in that. launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, today. Run and gun in this reimagining of the Contra classic Contra blast through explosive Oh Contra I think that's an iconic game series too to Contra the Contra series forces. Spring into action with Oh that's getting remade of course Thanks Crash thanks Spyro this You made everyone realize that remakes you know remasters are the future Powerful super attacks do you notice that? Like, ever after they announced Crash Insane Trilogy and the Spyro Reignited Trilogy, then literally everyone jumped on that, you know, remake, remaster bandwagon. Destroy All Humans got remakes. <laughs> the original GTA trilogy from the PlayStation era, you know, PS2, Xbox era got remade, but then again, it was not really a remake, it was more of a cash grab than anything else. But it was still good, I thought it was alright. 
because of the you know negative reception, you guys got GTA 4 remastered remake and canceled. Purify evil. Yet the answer is clear as day now. The path before us is laid bare. That's what I've heard. Apparently, they it, it got it got it canceled because of the negative reception to the re, you know you know rema, re, you know the remastered trilogy of the. GTA 3, GTA Vice City, and uh, San Andreas. Forge your bonds and lead the liberation to glorious victory. Cultivate a grand army with over 60 unique characters. 60 From unique characters. To, to massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair which hang heavy over our home. It may take days, months, or even years. But I shall see the duties of my bloodline fulfilled. Atlas and Vanillaware presents the rebirth of tactical fantasy RPGs. Unicorn Overlord. Unicorn Overlord. March 8th, 2024. Oh my god. What a name. <gasps> Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon! I was hoping they did, would also remake also the first game too. Because that was on the 3DS near the end of its life cycle. Mansion 2 HD. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it out. That theme is so iconic. Time for some mansion mayhem. I was so glad that they kind of subtly, you know, included it no in the movie when he was in the uh, the Darklands. -like device, the Poltergust. Use it to light up dark areas vacuum and vacuum up, up things and get some goodies. It's a handy tool for your paranormal. I wonder how they're gonna op like because this wasn't Plus, this was level based, goes, not like an open like a sandbox uh, open world like the first and third ball. games were. Then vacuum them up. So is it gonna continue that that you know they that style, or are they gonna kind of somewhat retool it a little bit? In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting. There's multiple a mansions. Lab. Multiple mansions, different a mansions. Down clock factory that's full of sand. A mine covered in ice and yeah, snow. Yeah, there were multiple mansions. I never really places. got a chance to play this one. These troublemakers will use every trick in the I book never had the chance. Sadly, I never really had the chance to make play this one at all. Of course, King Boo. Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to oh, of course. There's online. an online mode. Why? You have to include one! Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo <laughs> Switch next summer. Next summer. Wow. How was that? Well, next, a long way to go. Two announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Oh, boy. Mario? It's the theme song for Mario Galaxy. What's that? It's a question it's a mark. Question, question mark. block. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. Oh, wow. Where is this being built in Japan? At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. I'm pretty sure, like, the Game Boy well. from the Korean we War will be one of those. <clears throat> we'll share more information, such as the opening date, at another time. Please stay tuned. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. Oh. The Zelda and Amiibos Amiibo figures are releasing <laughs> on November 3rd. The Tears of the and Kingdom and Xenoblade. And Neo from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a set on January, In January. 2024. Jeez, that's a long way to go. And finally, we have a new Amiibo figure to announce. Oh. The DLC fighter from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Sora oh, finally! Bucks. After two years! <laughs> the final Amiibo of the Smash Brothers line. Next year. God damn. 
That's all for today's Amiibo announcements. Next, please take a look at this. <gasps> Mute City? F-Zero? Is, was it true? F-Zero game. Returns as a 99 player battle royale. Oh my, oh, come on. Really? Race on classic F-Zero courses with machines. Stop with the battle royale nonsense. But it's great to see F-Zero kind of get something out of it. But be careful. Oh my god. You're gone. You'll need to avoid collisions and conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Feeling risky? Spend some of your power meter for a temporary speed boost. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide. Huh. To a special path called the Skyway. So is that what the leak was talking about? There was going to be something F-Zero related? So this is what it was? A stupid battle royale game like Mario 99 and stuff? Mario 35, I mean? And, you know, Pac-Man 99 and Tetris 99? I don't get why they have to do it like this. Like... Give a give them an actual you know new F Zero. It's time to race your way to first place because F Zero ninety nine will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch online members later today. More than thirty years after its original release, F Zero is back as a battle royale game. This title also supports the Super NES controller. Oh, okay, so that's a cool plus side to it, but still, I, I think some people will probably will mix about it. Try and aim for first place. Okay, let's continue with some more headlines. One little hero, one humongous problem. Oh boy. <laughs> Welcome to Vandal City, a whimsical land inhabited by small fuzzy beings called Yordles. After a party gets a little too wild, the portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It's up to you and your knitting magic to stitch Vandal City back together. Journey across the land to gather materials and craft items and meals for the locals. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Huh. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. Can you save Vandal City? And what mysteries will you discover during your magical adventure? Huh, piano. <laughs> Vandal Tale, a League of Legends story. League of Legends? On Switch oh my god. Next year. Wait, did you hear that? Join best friends, Nunu and Willem, on a journey across the frozen wilds of the Freljord. Jump, climb, and That kind of threw me off for a second, I'm like, what the fuck? yet treacherous land, where every step taken and each puzzle solved will bring you closer to the truth about these friends and their past. Song of Nunu, a League of Another League of Legends story. Is yeah, these November origin first. stories? So the some today. of the characters from on that Nintendo series? I don't know. Let's move oh, into there we go. WarioWare. WarioWare. This tropical resort contains tons of micro games that'll give oh, your Oh God people. Almighty! <laughs> In each micro game, you get into just, specific just that particular form. position. The way that guy had to be. Copy the form shown. Oh my Lord! As quick as you can. Oh, the IR. The, the fact that they're finally the using that IR camera. After another, so look alive. I don't think any other Nintendo Switch game before this ever done that. You know, any games did Plus, that before. Four players can battle it out in party mode. I love the fact that they're finally using it for once. Reach the goal without getting caught by Medusa. Three. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. 
With over 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes of plenty. <laughs> Mario 3. Wacky time. Wario Wear Move it. Launches November 3rd. System November 3rd. Pre orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. A heroic tale will soon unfold. Lead an army of over 100 heroes into battle and put an end to an empire's A 3D, you know, environment with 2D sprite Meet character Noah, sprites. Kind of reminds me of that Save other game that did that empire. similar. And Marissa, I kind of like that, you know, these three kind of thing. To fight for a common goal. On their journey, That's kind of cool. A variety of heroes I like that kind of art style. Cause. And when you move, the character sprites change to match, you know, where they're looking. Additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend crops, open shops, and more. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. They may not always get along at first, but these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. Trust. Betrayal. Justice. And truth. A heroic tale will begin when A Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes launches on Nintendo April twenty third, twenty twenty four. Man, a lot of games coming out next year. Participate in some pixel perfect play. Pixel perfect. Next stop, Octopia. Travel to a charming Octo Carol Eastward in this Octopia for Eastward. by Chucklefish. How what is the development name? Turn the pages of a new chapter as they adjust oh to my gosh. in a mountainside village. Tend to livestock. What the? Whip up culinary delights for your what? neighbors. Those cows. And restore buildings to help the village. <laughs> they literally had like and something spinning to have them lo float in, a, in the, the air. DLC, even if you haven't played the main story. Oh my gosh. Eastward, Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. This holiday season. Get back into the groove. Yeah. In this sequel to War Groove, War Groove 2. So it's a Chucklefish, you know, a little factions, showcase of all their games. A new folk faction, the Fari. Plus, you can now supercharge your commander's group to unleash devastating attacks. Lead a roguelike offensive in conquest mode. Battle friends locally or online. Or Create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. <laughs> oh wow, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can create your own like story, I guess, and levels. That's cool. <laughs> that the wine delivery. Get out of my way! Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Dave the Diver. Oh, this, they're all like 2D sprite games. Recipes and it's not just Chucklefish, this is another developer. Then tend to the clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Pour the right amount. changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. Dave the Diver launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch system October 26th. October 26. Swim on to Nintendo eShop later today. Huh. Hey, here we go! Wave the final wave. wave! Here's a sneak peek at Wave 6, the final wave of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC from the Mario Kart Wii game. Daisy, Daisy Circuit. Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave 6. Diddy Kong! He's game. finally Diddy back! Kong. From Funky Mario Kong Wii. from Mario Kart Wii. And from the Mario Kart Tour game. Wow, Pauline! They're adding her. And also, Peek. Peek. Oh my god. Toadette's, you know, super ability. Wave 6 of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday Switch season. This holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion they only reveal one course. DLC at no additional cost. The like, DLC they only showcase one of the courses, on Daisy Circuit from Mario Kart Wii. 
something new is uh, among yeah. us. This game I hate with a passion, man. DLC for this fucking game? Among Us? Nah. There's something among us. What the shit? They're getting attacked by the mushroom land? Oh. <laughs> that hockey mask! Was that delirious? <laughs> that was H2O delirious. Cameoing in this direct. <laughs> A new map. A new map to the game. The fungal. Oh my lord. This new map from Among Us is free and launches this October. Probably come out to the other systems too. What did you think? Thanks for sticking with us this far. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. The Scarlet and Violet DLC, F-099, the Pikmin games, Detective Pikachu Returns, Mario Wonder! Oh my god. Mario Wear Move It, Mario RPG, the Mario Kart Final Wave, Pokemon DLC again, another code recollection, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Princess Peach Showtime, Splatoon 3 DLC, Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. We hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. Oh boy, what's Please it gonna be? Look. It's probably not Metroid, but something weird. Paper Mario? Which one? Thousand Year Door? Was I just talking? I was just talking about that! Oh my god! Mario? Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door! It's probably gonna be completely different than the original and people are probably still gonna be pissed. Because apparently Miyamoto hates this game for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I kept hearing, because after this game, they completely changed the formula of what Mario, RP, you know, Paper Mario was. This is like the definitive Paper Mario game that people never stop talking about, so if they can finally shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, Game Boy fans! Oh my god, that's funny. Oh gosh. So they kind of remade it a little bit. Yeah, because I could tell it's the visuals are slightly different, so. Updated. Bowser. I never really got far into Mario Thousand Year Door though, so I, this is some of the stuff I don't really recognize. Oh, Jesus. What a mystery. What did you just say? Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Wow. Princess Peach. What has happened to me? Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? Next year. Wow. 
Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, originally released on Nintendo GameCube, the GameCube. will return with enhanced graphics. Enhanced. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, I played the original. To experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. Well, that's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Wow, what a way to end it. Thank you for watching. What a way to end the direct. Wow, man. So that is interesting. So we got to talk about the big reveals, obviously. So they finally showcased what the Princess Peach game is. Princess Peach Showtime. They showcased Luigi's Mansion 2 in HD. Um... They kind of gave us the, I guess that the leak was somewhat true about the F-Zero thing, but it's not what you thought it would be. It's a Battle Royale game. That I'm pretty sure people got a little upset about. I'm pretty sure that it's mixed. Like, what? just make an F-Zero game. That's probably what a lot of people were saying. Just make a brand new F-Zero game. Don't turn the original into a fucking Battle Royale like Fortnite, for Christ's sake. Like Mario 35 and Tetris 99. You don't need to do that. Just make a brand new F Zero. Maybe this is an experiment. This could be an experiment and seeing like if anybody's still interested in F Zero. I'm pretty sure that Nintendo will probably look at it and go, if it does well, okay, we can probably do something with the series again and make a new one. Who knows? But again, I just that just kind of rubbed me the wrong way. I was kind of like excited for everyone, but then I see that it's a battle royale. And I'm like, fuck that, man. Um. They showcase Mario RPG again. They are, I guess they re they announced, I guess, I don't know if it's a remake of the original Mario vs. Donkey Kong game from the original Game Boy Advance is now coming to Switch. They announced a, you know, HD, you know, remaster, I guess, of the original three Tomb Raider games, which allows you to play it like the original or enhanced, which I think is pretty cool. Um... What other crazy... They had the Splatoon 3 DLC. They, you know, showcased, you know, the upcoming Amiibos. And they announced something about a Nintendo Museum that's opening next March. Um, I think it's... If I'm not mistaken, I feel like it might be in, like, Japan, probably. So... It's probably, and I I think it would make more sense for like certain you know artifacts from Nintendo history to be in you know in you know featured in that like you know the infamous Game Boy that was you know that a soldier from the Korean War had that was blown like they were near a like a a mine or you know it was it got caught in an explosion and it was literally still worked it still worked it was but the entire like outer shell of the Game Boy was completely charred. So I'm pretty sure certain things like that will be included, will be, you know, showcased in this Nintendo Museum. So that's kind of nice. But um, I think the biggest announcement, and also the Mario Kart 8 DLC Wave 6, they showcase just one of the courses that they're including, which is Daisy Circuit from Mario Kart Wii. They introduced four characters, two of them from the classic games, uh, Diddy Kong, from Mario Kart Double Dash and Funky Kong from Mario Kart Wii, which everyone will only play as in Mario Kart Wii because he has the fastest, you know, vehicle in the game, apparently. Uh, they included, you know, two characters from the new Mario Kart Tour, which I think announced that they were ending, the, the, you know, upcoming updates in the future, I think, at some point. Peachette, which is the Toadette, you know, ability from the, you know, port of Mario Deluxe U. <laughs> Mario Deluxe, uh, and also Pauline. So that's four characters now included. So interesting. So what a way to go out. But then the big announcement for me, I think that I'm kind of shocked at, and I was so funny. I was met talking about this earlier because I was talking about like the only RPGs I remember vividly playing was. Mario and Luigi's Partners in Time, and also Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I mentioned The Thousand Year Door for some reason. 
because that was like the only RPG I remember vividly playing, but I just never got too far in the game. But I was say, I just I said that like maybe 20 minutes prior to the big reveal at the end, which was a remake or a you know enhanced version that's probably going to be completely different from the original of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. So finally, Twitter and all the fans can shut the fuck up. <laughs> you know, I'm pretty sure they've been clamoring for this for fucking years, dude. They were clamoring for this for years. But, like, what gave it away was that port that, you know, that you, you know, arrive in, in the beginning. That's what gave it away for me, because I wasn't sure if it was a brand new Paper Mario game, because they really came out with a new Paper Mario game three years ago, the Origami King. So I wasn't sure if this was a brand new game or if this was like a, a, a remake of an ori of one of the original games. But it's the, uh, I guess, a remake of The Thousand Year Door. I'm pretty sure it's going to be completely overhauled and changed and not like the original. And people are still going to be pissed off and stuff. So Nintendo will always find a way to piss the fans off, <laughs> I feel like. I have no idea. Because I've heard a lot of... Because this was the last good Paper Mario game to a lot of fans. After that, when they put out Super Paper Mario and then the, you know, the ones afterwards, it was downhill for the series. Not even a crossover with Mario and Luigi could save them. So. But I feel like they're going to completely overhaul the system, the engine, and, you know, the, the, the mechanics of the game. So. I don't know. That's just that's just what I feel like might happen, but hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully Nintendo goes, you know what, we gotta keep it the like the original. But who knows? But, you know, I will probably get it because you know what? I remember playing that game a lot as a kid. When I was a kid, I played it. So this is a throwback to my childhood was the Thousand Year Door. Even though I didn't really get far in the game, it was still a throwback to my childhood. So, um, that was cool. That, that was really cool. Like seeing all that stuff, you know, being showcased today. So again, no Metroid news. I'm pretty sure they're saving that for like the next Nintendo system, whenever that is. So wonderful disappointment once again, but also kind of excited at some things that they showcased. But, uh, anyways, I think overall, that's really all I got to really say about it. Overall, I think that was that was pretty cool. Like some of the reveals in this direct was pretty cool. The Thousand Year Door, I think, is the big one for me. So, so who knows? Like what other games they'll have coming forward. So who knows? But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's reaction. If you did hit the like button, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Be sure to ring that bell to be part of the notification squad. Be sure to check out my Instagram because I'm going to call it to Markiplier, Jacksepticeye, even myself. I also react as a cosplays on there, so go check it out. And be sure to check out my Tumblr and my Discord in the description as well. So until next time, Jared, Eel 96 signing out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.